Hey folks, Lana here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts. If you're new to the channel, I'd just like to welcome y'all. Uh, basically on this channel we talk about cowboy boots, hats, basically anything that has to do with Western Life. Uh, so, uh, I want to talk about Yellowstone because Yellowstone has uh, helped out the industry of the Western wear and basically everything that is Western. Uh, it has helped out as far as rodeo people maybe get a better understanding of uh ranching and you know a certain thing of course yellowstone is a fictional story so there's a lot of fictional things to make it more exciting but it kind of gives uh basically people who are not around that lot uh a, a basic idea of uh some things so uh i'm grateful to yellowstone for that aspect and uh Basically, with the uh, release of Season 5 coming up in about three weeks, and also the prequel that was made, 1883, to understand uh, how the ranch, the Dunn Ranch, has occurred, uh, I think it's a great storyline. I just wanted to kind of touch on the subject. Uh, basically, four characters that actually played in Yellowstone that were also playing in 1883 that y'all might have missed. Let's get into it. So, first, we're going to have the most obvious, Taylor Sheridan. And basically, uh, Taylor Sheridan is the writer of Yellowstone and 1883 and he does have a small role in both of them. Uh, in Yellowstone he plays Travis Whitley which is a cutting reigning horse uh, rider that is um, basically part of the Four Sixes uh, ranch in North Texas in Guthrie, Texas and that is a real ranch and he is actually part owner of it now. Uh, so this ranch has been around for a long time and he basically comes from that ranch to kind of uh, work with the Duddens uh, to actually, you know, make money uh, with some uh, really expensive uh, cutting horses to uh, go into competition and they do a partnership in order to make money and he also helps out Jimmy uh, by taking him to the four sixes as a favor to John Dudden. Uh, so basically that's the character he plays really cool character uh, four six is part of my favorite um, part of the whole Yellowstone deal so uh, in 1883 he plays as Charles Goodnight which is a Texas Ranger basically going up the Chisholm Trail uh, catching and killing uh, horse robber train robbers basically all the bad guys that are up on there you uh, might have seen him with his uh, thick black beard that is also Taylor Sheridan they are playing as a uh, same person so coming in at number two we have Martin Sansmar now Martin is a Native American actor who plays in both 1883 and Yellowstone and he actually uh, goes by the name of Martin in Yellowstone and you might remember him as the gentleman who actually helped out Monica with her physical therapy in the pool and he got really close to her to the point where they almost ended up sleeping together until Monica, Casey's wife, felt bad uh, while she was separated from her husband and he basically informed her that she should go back to her husband as he felt that that was truly what she wanted. He was being a real gentleman about it. Now, uh, in 1883, uh, you might remember him as Elsa's husband, a Native American who actually fell in love with Elsa and gave her the name Lightning with Yellow Hair. So uh, that is the same actor. They're both, uh, both those roles are actually played by Martin Sansmeyer. So let's go on to the next one. So coming in at number three, we have James Jordan who plays in the show Yellowstone, Steve Handen, who is a somewhat goofy, uh, livestock agent who always seems to be getting himself in trouble. Now, one of the most recognizable scenes you must have seen him in is 
when he loads up a couple of uh, horse robbers on a horse trailer and uh, basically gives it a lot of gas and a lot of brakes and teach these uh, horse robbers a eternal lesson. Now, on the show 1883, you might have actually seen him uh, playing a very different character called Cookie. Now, I'm sure that wasn't his name even in the show, but uh, Cookie is a common name given to a cook on a chuck wagon. So, basically, whenever you're out on the field and you're a uh, working cowboy, you are you have a chuck wagon nearby and usually the cook on there's name is Cookie. So, that's what they actually call him in the show. So, you might actually recognize him on there as the cook and he's also kind of goofy and gets himself in trouble with Mrs. Dutton for a cousin. So, at number four in our last character, we have Tokala Black Elk, who is also a Native American actor who plays a Native American in both uh, Yellowstone and 1883. Now, in Yellowstone, he plays as Sam Standalone, and he is basically somewhat of a friend of Casey and helps him out uh, a bunch. Uh, now, you guys could recognize him from his very deep voice. He has a very unique voice that is very deep and calm at the same time. It's kind of hard to describe, but as soon as y'all hear it, you guys will know. And he has the same voice, obviously, in 1883, where he plays a uh, Lakota warrior. And you might actually recognize him with a yellow face and that same depth of voice. So that is my list. If y'all have actually seen any of these actors and y'all have recognized them before this video, please let me know if this is a shocking thing to you. Please also let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Also, please let me know if maybe I might have missed some actors. I looked at the show Yellowstone three times and I've watched uh, 1883 twice. So I think I've basically got everything covered, but maybe I'm wrong. Now, uh, if you guys like this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of things coming up. And if y'all actually are interested in cowboy boots, hats, or anything like that, and y'all are new to it, uh, please check out my other reviews. would love to have you come aboard. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.